All right, welcome back to the channel. Max Torno here. In this video, I want to talk about how online coaches, consultants, and service providers sell themselves short. So at the end of this video, you'll know exactly two big main problems that you want to avoid at all cost. This is especially important for you if you're just getting started with your online business. But even if you're a little advanced already because these problems can draw themselves out for quite a long time and obviously you'll suffer from that. Uh, if you wanna do things the right way, uh, if you wanna do things the right way from the start, then this video is for you. Pay attention, let's get started. Have you ever wondered whether there's more to life than a meaningless dead-end nine to five job? Have you ever dreamed about breaking free, you know, traveling the world, making good money while not having to worry that you could get fired? My name is Max Torno and I've attained that freedom and I've attained that security. No more office dress code, no morning commute, no boss. This channel is for you, so here's to your freedom. The first problem I see most online coaches or service providers make is they're trying to compete by lowering their prices. And this is obviously a pricing issue on one hand, but on the other hand, also a mindset issue that people think like, oh, they have to somehow compete. Um, if you really think about it, whatever niche you're in, there's probably other people in it, other bigger ones that are doing this quite successfully. You know, there's the biggest names, the market leaders, and so on and so forth. And for some random reason, people always think they need to start competing. Like, oh, I can't become a so-and-so online coach because there's this and that person already, or there's that and that YouTube channel already giving the information out for free. Um, that's not necessary. You can be the hundredth best or hundredth known, hundredth best known online coach in your niche you'll still be able to make a very, very comfortable living. Um, so that is not the issue, especially the idea that you have to compete from the get-go is completely irrelevant and it's, it's very silly if you really think about that. Competition is something that you get in over time as you're getting better, but definitely not something that you're getting started with. So. Perhaps it's, um, it's lack of understanding of how markets work. Perhaps it's naivety to think like, oh, I have to compete now. Perhaps it's literally just sweet talking uh, of, of, of not feeling ready, of not having the balls to start. Like, oh, I can't start because I'm not ready to compete or something like that, but whichever it is. That initial thought then manifests itself into people thinking like, okay, I have to offer something differently. Well, I can't be better. I can't be bigger than these well-established brands. So what I can do is I can make it cheaper. If so-and-so offers their program for 500 bucks, well, then I'm such a small provider, I'll offer mine for 50. And what happens now is it's horrible because number one, you sell yourself short. He cannot build a legitimate online business by selling something for 50 bucks, especially not in the beginning. And number two is who are the people that you're attracting with your $50 programs, $10 programs? It's cheap people and people usually that don't execute. The, the worst kind of clients, let's put it that way. The exact opposite of a premium client, which is a bad client, uh, a penny pinching client, especially these are all, especially most of the time these are people that don't execute, which is bad for you because now you get a bunch of clients that don't do what you tell them to do and the ergo they don't, don't get results. Um, so that's a big problem. Don't try to compete by lowering your price. How should you compete? Well, you compete by caring more. This is especially important when you're getting started, and this is a hugely underrated point. Um, if you're trying to compare yourself with the industry leaders who have thousands of clients, but you're just getting started, well, your biggest advantage is that you can care more. You get your first test client, and your first test client might say, why shouldn't I buy from Mr. So-and-so influencer, or Mr. So-and-so with a big brand? You can say, well, because I can take care of you. You're my first client, you're my test client, so it's only my responsibility and my best interest to give you results. And that also means that you have my sole undivided attention, which Mr. So-and-so big brand can't even remotely do, right? So you can basically shine where the bigger ones cannot shine. And that is how you should compete. All right? You should compete by caring more about your clients and by giving them more attention, which is also why we tell our beginner clients when they're getting started, offer one-on-one -on -one coaching because number one, that's how you can stand out. And number two, that's also how you can gather valuable information to actually craft your offer much better in the beginning. And you'll learn from every single client that you have. This is also something that we've done with all our programs, our beginner programs, our intermediate programs, our advanced programs. We didn't just create the program 
out of our own arrogance like this is what people need we've literally created the rough structure of the program we let people go through we learned from it we gave them even more value than any other type, kind of client because they're our first test clients and from there we built the program in fact we're at a stage right now where we literally still uh, continuously make our programs better every single week we add new videos we exchange older videos we're always making sure that we're at the pulse of time that our clients always get the newest information right we make videos better we add videos and so on and so forth and that helps us have such a high quality uh, for our client support and this is also how we're slowly revolutionizing the market in terms of online consulting for businesses for business beginners and for advanced businesses who want to scale so that's the first mistake trying to compete by offering cheaper prices. This point should be fairly clear now. And uh, before we get into the second point, uh, I'd like you to strongly recommend our podcast. My business partner, Nikita, Nikita Gunkiewicz and myself, we have a very interesting, informative and entertaining podcast where we go much deeper on the ideas of building your own business. We share mindsets. We talk much, uh, much deeper on the things that we teach our clients. So if you feel like YouTube is a little bit too surface level, you want to dive deeper, feel free to check it out. We're going to put our link down in the description below or the link that appears somewhere here right now. The other important point also about pricing is that people, and this is a huge mistake, they try to offer hourly rates. So they say like, oh, I'm a fitness coach, I'm a mindset coach, I'm a dating coach. Uh, you know, you can. I offer online Skype sessions for 100 bucks, 250 bucks per hour. And the problem with that is that it's not scalable. Like, what do you wanna do? You only have 24 hours a day. You have as many hours as I do as anybody else has. So even if you say, okay, I'm gonna charge 10,000 euros per hour, which is hard to justify, very hard to justify, because there's no end result connected to that. I charge 10,000 euros per hour, um, you can only do so many hours per day and so many hours per week and so on and so forth. So there's a literal, a literal physical ceiling through which you cannot go. The other problem is it's not, it, so that's, it's not scalable, all right? The other problem here is now, by saying, oh, I charge this, this much per hour, the person who you'd like to sell that to will have a hard time feeling excited about that. Because look, what do you really try to offer them? Do you try to offer them your time or do you try to offer them an end result? That is what it's about. If you're a fitness coach, you're not offering your time. You're offering the end result of losing weight, burning fat, gaining muscle, right? If you're a dating coach, you're offering them find the opportunity to find their dream partner. You're not offering them your time. And so even if you did charge 10,000 euros per hour, the person who would who you're trying to sell this to, they'll be like, I don't see the value in it. They literally cannot make the connection. They're like, what, what do I do with an hour of your time? I want an end result, right? It's a simple, basic human psychology. That's in terms of scaling and pricing. The other problem is even when people do start charging for an end result, they still kind of try to get into this type of thinking of like, uh, we've, I've had this just recently with a one-on-one -on -one co client of mine. He's a dating coach and he said, okay, so I tried to sell XYZ client for 3K for a program that includes two calls per week, you know, over 12 weeks. That's so and so many calls. And I'm like, get away from the thinking of how much they pay per call. They don't pay per call. They pay for an end result that they're getting. All right. Why do people buy Ferraris? Do they buy Ferraris to buy a vehicle that brings them from point A to point B? No, because they could buy a Volkswagen for that. They could buy a, whatever other, a Volvo for that, right? People buy a Ferrari because they buy the end result of being cool, of feeling superior, of experiencing the luxury. That is why people are willing to pay, not because they want to get from point A. Oh, I buy a Ferrari because it drives me faster. It has more horsepower, so I'm there faster. It saves time, said nobody ever, right? So get away from trying to charge for an hourly rate and charge for a specific end result and also trim your thinking on charging for an end result and not try to split up your program. Oh, this means so and so many calls, so it's so and so much per call. Doesn't matter, all right? It's exactly the same what we're doing as well for our, for our base level clients, but even all the way up to our VIP clients. Nobody cares how much face time they're getting per day or per hour. Ultimately, they want to get the end result. And some clients want to have more face time with us, so they get the more face time. 
Some clients say, look, I don't want to waste my own time with being on calls with you. Just tell me what to do, right? So it always depends on the client and that gives us and them the opportunity to say, okay, what kind of end result do you want? How much do you need of attention to get there and so on and so forth? It gives us also the chance to gauge and say, okay, this client needs to have a little bit more of the support. We need to be a little bit more there for them. And this client is actually fine as long as we check in every day, every two days and so on and so forth. And that then if you're the online coach or consultant that offers that also gives you the flexibility to make sure that you always offer the best possible type of coaching for your client that gets them to the end result that they desire, right? So those are two very important problems that you want to avoid at all cost. This is especially important if you're getting started with a business, but also it's important if you already have a business and you can't seem to scale, right? So when that is you, I offer you to, off, uh, to jump on a free consultation call either with me directly or with an expert from my team. On that consultation call, we'll be sharing with you the exact steps that we've been applying to hundreds of our clients that help them get started with their own first businesses as online coaches, online service providers, or online consultants. We could show a couple of testimonials here, some of our more successful clients that just have, have been happening now recently. All these testimonials are always um, up to date. They're only you know two, three weeks maximum age, if not even just a couple days. And uh, all you have to do is you click down that link in the description. Link brings you to a page. On that page, there's an application. You just got to scroll all the way down. Fill out the application, takes you two minutes, and then you can book the exact date and time where you want us to call you. This is for you if you already have a business and you want to make money more consistently. But this is also for you if you're at zero, you feel a little lost, overwhelmed, you have no experience on how to get started with your own first business, this call is for you as well. Like I said, link down in the description below. There you can book your free consultation call. So let's talk very, very soon. Let's get you started and bye-bye. Hey guys, this is Christian from Denmark checking in here. I just wanted to make this small video to update you guys on an insane January. I have had three sales within the first five days of January. And I also have two clients who's bought in for February. Also, that is an insane beginning of this year. In the first five days, I made 10.6K. Since I started in the program, then I'm up to 74K. It's going pretty damn well. It's a great journey. If you take this serious, this could happen to you as well. So see you out there, guys.